Hi, my name is Michael Reed McLaughlin, and I'm about to tell you an unbelievable story. When I was a kid, I grew up in New Mexico along the old Santa Fe Trail, and uh, I was into pirates and conquistadors and Greek mythology. And one day I went to the farmer's market or the old flea market in Old Town, and I found this this crate there. I you know, thought it was like a treasure chest, and I offered the guy 25 bucks, which was way too much money. He smiled at the stupid gringo kid and, and took my money and thought me a fool until years later when I found in the bottom of that box a hidden compartment where there was a, a manuscript that must have been tucked in there for hundreds of years because in with it was a gold piece of aid, a Spanish doubloon. Of course, that's another story. Well, this manuscript was in a language I didn't recognize at all. So I took it to the library and tried to figure out what it was. No one could tell me. It looked like Sanskrit, wasn't Sanskrit. Eventually, I figured out that actually I was translating the characters wrong, upside down. Sanskrit was actually based on this language. So the way I broke the code was I found this one section where there were three series of paragraphs in a row that were in three different languages and three different character sets, but exactly the same number of sentences. And I realized it was a poem repeated in three languages, in what was called the common tongue, in the dwarven language, and in the high elven. Well, I'd already been cracking the Dwarven Surth from the fact that they looked a little bit like the Angersath Moria runes that Tolkien had discovered, and the Futhark runes of the Celts of Europe of a couple of centuries BCE up until even the 13th century. Well, once I had cracked that, it was the key to the whole common tongue language. 92 unique words in the three stanzas of that poem unlocked the whole manuscript, and wow, what a world. What I discovered was the writings of a wizard by the name of Zorwin de Silver, who was recording the history of the War of the Tomes that ended the fifth age of man in the world of Indriel. Zorwin's title of the book was Luendali Gunranie, which means literally the, the great deeds of those with brave blood, or what I call the hero sagas. And book one is Runeglaive, Sword of Heroes. And the first book is about young Maitak and the sword he inherits from his father. A great claymore with magic runic surth written across the blade so that if he can learn its secret, it'll give him the ability to fight dragons, slay sorcerers, anything he allows himself to believe in. It's amazing translating this thing. Every morning I wake up excited to find out what happened next. And my tack of the Oakwood it goes on a quest. He's gonna rescue princesses and fight dragons, he thinks. So let me tell you a little bit about the Kickstarter program. That's why I'm here on Kickstarter, right? I'm trying to raise money. Now, I've got a publisher, Rare Bird Books. They're gonna publish all three books in the trilogy. That's great. But this work is so vast and has so many things. There are genealogies for thousands of years. There's a roll of coat of arms of all of the great houses. There are glossaries with 30,000 words in them. There's 6,000 words in the languages alone in the appendix. That's why we want to develop an enhanced iBooks edition of Runeglaive, Sword of Heroes, so that we can include all that extra material. Here's the sort of exclusive bonus elements we'll have. There'll be Celtic music by Christine Cargill Kenny. We're going to have 3D renderings of castles and weapons. There'll be videos. We've got maps. You ever get lost in a book and wonder where you are? You can jump to the map, find out where the characters are, where the other characters are. We're going to have access to the appendices, the languages, the histories, the genealogies, the coats of arms, the 30,000 word glossary, the 3D renderings, all that stuff is going to be at your fingertips. You're going to be able to share with it on Facebook. You're going to be talking with other people about what you're reading and what's exciting them. You're going to want to be competing in the game elements that are tied into it. Shop for merchandise. This is going to be an interactive experience that allows you to access all this great depth of stuff behind this wonderful world. It's gonna be a whole new reader experience you're gonna to totally dig. But we can't do that without your help. And that's why we need something as innovative as Kickstarter to help us bring this innovation to you. So, here's some of the rewards. It's gonna be everything starting at the bottom with posters and just bookmarks to ebook editions. There's gonna be an audiobook edition. There's going to be a mass market paperback edition. But then, as we reach stretch goals, we're going to have a very limited edition number of hand-sewn hardback cover editions. We're going to have a one-of-a-kind, leather-bound, totally custom, 
on parchment-like paper, addition for a Super Angel sponsor. We're gonna have all kinds of cool stuff. You're gonna totally love it. Check out the sidebar. There's all kinds of levels. Give what you can. If you're not a big reader of this stuff, that doesn't matter. You can support somebody doing something different, and that's what I'm doing. For me, this has been a decades-long journey of discovery. It's been amazing. It's like reading my favorite book for 30 years. Thanks for your support. I'm Michael Reed McLaughlin. Have a great day. I am so excited about bringing you this app. This is going to be the coolest thing.